Here's your how-to video for the order tracking sheet. You're going to go into Google Sheets, enter your customer's name, then you're going to put how you are fulfilling the order, customer delivery service or inventory. This one is going to be customer delivery service. It's going to be shipped directly to them, so you get the retail subtotal and the shipping, which is always going to be $4.95. The tax rate is the county that you're shipping it to. Then you're going to get the payment type. That matters greatly on the type of fee that will be charged to the customer. All right, the next one is retail product gift. If you're giving a masking brush, it's going to be $12. If nothing, it'll be zero. Now, the items in green is what you enter. The items in white are calculated for you. Isn't that great? So you don't have to do any of those heavy-duty calculations, but you can see all those numbers there. What matters is to enter the things in green. Have you processed the payment? The amount in orange is the amount you need to charge the customer. To the right, you'll see what your profit is and any notes that you want to enter in on that customer. All right, so for Terry K., Let's say she's getting the clinical solution set and a lipstick, but you only want to give her 10% off on the clinical solution set. You're not going to put 10% off right here because that would apply 10% off on the whole order. So that would be just a real bad thing to do. Um, it would mess up all the calculations. What you're going to want to do is just figure out, okay, 10% off on the clinical solution set, which is a $120 set. That's going to be $12 in a retail product gift. That'll get your calculations correct. If you're only giving a percentage off on one item within many items of an order. Another note on discounts, if you want to give like a free product, like let's say a uh, free uh, masking brush, that's $12 and retail value, you enter that in there. And that's going to change the calculation for the order that you charge your customer. Let's say you want to do something a little bit different for their discount. Let's say you want to give 20% off their entire order. So what you would do is you would put that in the discount percentage and that would apply it 20% off the entire order. And you enter that there. That'll change the amount that you charge the customer reflected in orange right there. Okay, another way you can get a, give a discount is a uh, cash amount off the entire order and you would put that under discount under dollars. So you're being real generous. Let's say you want to give them $50 off their order. And then your amount to charge the customer would change accordingly. It factors in all the taxes and the fees so that you know what to charge the customer. Then you'll be able to see your net profit, which is minus $19. So this will help you decide what kind of discounts to give.